We have a story just coming in now. The Governorship Election Petitions Tribunal sitting in Ishabo, Abel Kuta Open State, has affirmed the election of the state governor, Mr. Ibikuli Amosu, as the winner of the April 11 governorship election. Now, a three-man panel headed by Justice Henry Olushi uh, ruled that the petitioner, Mr. Gwega Esiaka, failed to prove his case of electoral fraud in the nine local government areas beyond reasonable doubt. Now, the People's Democratic Party candidate had challenged the election, which returned the incumbent, uh, Mr. Amosu, of the All Progressives Congress as the duly elected governor in the April 11th election. Now, he had alleged that the election was fought with irregularities and electoral malpractices in nine local government areas of the state, asking that elections in those areas be cancelled. Now, moving on to other stories. Now, the International Fund for Agriculture Development, IFAD, has started implementing the Improved Value Chain Project for the Benue State Agricultural Revolution Program. At a meeting with the Benue State Governor, Samuel Autumn, IFAD's country program manager, Ms. Asuko Toda, identified key areas that women and youth can be empowered in the agriculture program. She said large-scale farmers should also be encouraged to concentrate on agricultural produce in the state, which has a comparative advantage. In his response, the governor told his guests that it's imperative Benue State returns to agriculture in the face of dwindling income from the national purse. Your Excellency, we would like to thank you for the payment of the counterpart contribution that we were not able to get, but we were finally able to get for 2015. This will allow the value chain development program for rice and cassava value chains to work productively in our state. What we'd like to do through the value chain development program and what we would like to key into your agenda is particularly around targeting women and youth and smallholder farmers. We would like to link producers to markets. We would like to ensure that smallholder farmers can have money in their pockets and stakeholders in the rice and cassava value chains can make money. And we know that in no other state than in Benue State, this is definitely possible. And we'd like to key into your agenda for the agricultural revolution. Benue State is focusing more at this time on agriculture. Agriculture is our main objective. Whether we talk about uh, industries, we are talking about processing our primary products from agriculture. Or we talk about promoting micro, small, and medium scale enterprises Youth under the ages of the coalition of Imo Youth have thrown their weight behind the ministerial nomination of the former secretary to the government of Imo State, Professor Anthony Anwoka. In their hundreds, the young men took to the streets of Oweri, the Imo State capital, in solidarity for the professor, who is also the former vice chancellor of the Imo State University. They commended President Mohamed Buhari for choosing him saying he would fit perfectly into any position given to him. Well, it appears uh, to be a new dawn in the treatment and management of heart and vascular related diseases in Nigeria as the multi-million Naira state-of-the-art Tri-State Heart and Vascular Center birthed in Babcock University Teaching Hospital, Elisha Remo, Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria. The center, located within the university environment, is a collaboration between the university and the Tri-State Cardiovascular Associates, a global leader in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular diseases in Africa. The inauguration of the center attracted the Sarkin Kano, His Royal Highness, Mohamedou Senussi, former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Joseph Senussi, and wife, former governor of Washington State, Chief Bisi Akonde, Chairman of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, as well as seasoned medical practitioners from far and wide. The occasion is the commissioning of the Tri-State Heart and Vascular Center. 
and dignitaries, including the Emir of Kano, His Royal Highness Muhammadu Sanusi, former Governor of Oshun State and Chairman of Tri-State Heart Foundation, Chief B.C. Akonde, and Chairman of Channels Television, who is also Vice Chairman of the Tri-State Heart Foundation, have come to be a part of the success story aimed at reducing medical tourism in the country. The Vice Chancellor of Babcock University, Professor Kayode Makinde, sets the tone for the day. What we have here today, small as it may be, is the collaboration between two giant institutions. The center, equipped with state-of-the-art medical equipment manned by seasoned professionals, also boasts of a tastefully furnished intensive care unit. The occasion witnesses the inauguration of the Tri-State Heart Foundation, saddled with the responsibility of raising funds for the treatment of individuals who cannot afford to pay for cardiovascular services here. With the former governor of Oshun State and Mr. A.B. Mahmood as chairman of the foundation and the Tri-State Vascular Center, respectfully. It is with delight that I stand before you today to accept the challenge of joining hands with others to kill the silent killer. No hospital or healthcare institution could be run uh, as a charity. The cost of that care must be borne by someone. When GC finally started its operations in Nigeria, it was obvious that a necessary component would be how to mobilize fellow compatriots to support a humanitarian or charitable initiative to finance such care for needy Nigerians. The Chief Medical Director of the University College Hospital, Ibadan, and the Emir of Kano also give suggestions on how to revamp the nation's medical sector. What exactly was the primary health care designed to do? It's supposed to be the lowest tier of, of uh, healthcare service delivery. And the primary concept was to focus on the child health, which is immunization and nutrition. Uh, it's only in this government now that they want to approach the issue of nutrition as a component of primary health care. All you have to do is just think, suppose we got all this right. Suppose we built these hospitals and stopped going abroad. Suppose we started producing our own textiles. Suppose we stopped importing three million pairs of shoes from China every year and started importing and started producing our own um, shoes and bags. We can diagnose any heart condition that anybody has, being from the valve to the blockages of the artery to the weak heart muscle. In addition to that, we can fix anything that has to deal with the heart. The event is rounded off with a tour of the facilities within the complex. Well, that's the program today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jocker Rogers. Bye for now.